My name is Greg Osborne and I'm the General Manager of Timber Holidays in Australia and New Zealand. I've been given the privilege of organising and accompanying the 100th anniversary Anzac Day pilgrimage to Gallipoli in April 2015. On April the 25th, 1915, Allied forces landed on the heavily protected beaches of the Gallipoli Peninsula in Western Turkey. Among them were members of the newly formed Australia and New Zealand Army Corps, known as the Anzacs. The Gallipoli campaign was to see some of the bloodiest fighting of the First World War. When the Anzacs made their heroic repeat, not, retreat nine months later, both of our nations would be changed forever. Timber Holidays has been organising pilgrimages to Gallipoli for more than 20 years. However, 2015 will be special. In acknowledging the significance of the commemorations, we have designed two very comprehensive pilgrimage programs. Each program, pilgrimage will be led by our ANZAC experts. They include authors, academics and military historians. We'll provide you with an in-depth understanding of the Gallipoli campaign as we explore the Gallipoli Peninsula together. Our main emphasis will be on the ANZACs, but we'll also take uh, consideration and time to explore the British, French and Turkish aspects of the campaign as well. Each pilgrimage is just over a week in duration. This allows enough time to explore, discover, experience and reflect on the events of a hundred years ago. We need to acknowledge that on Anzac Day 2015, the number of arriving people into Gallipoli will far outweigh the seating capacity at Anzac Cove. Anzac Cove is where the commemorations take place at dawn. Because of the expected high number of visitors, the respective governments of Australia and New Zealand have had to make some very difficult decisions. Decisions on who will and won't be able to be present at the dawn service at Anzac Cove. To help them choose who can attend, the governments have decided to operate a ballot, which we encourage everyone to enter. For details of how and when to enter the ballot, you can find these on our website and in our brochure, which is available either online or calling our office. The deadline to enter the ballot to, to be at Anzac Cove in 2015 is the 31st of January 2014. Sadly, not everyone will be successful. For those who are successful in the ballot, we've made full arrangements for transport to and from the services, and you'll be well looked after throughout the day. For those of us who cannot be accommodated at Anzac Cove, we have made alternative arrangements. We have chartered exclusive access to a local car ferry. We will board the ferry the night before Anzac Day and anchor overnight before sailing around the coast to position ourselves off Anzac Cove. It's from here that we will view the main service from the sea and plan to be aided with live television feed of the service itself. After the service, we will not be able to go on to the peninsula as it's closed for the day. So, we will now sail back to Chanakli with our historians and provide a unique presentation of the peninsula from the water. It should be quite special. Please join me and our historians on the significant day in our history. I look forward to seeing you in 2015.